Hi there, thanks for checking out another one of our videos. Uh, on our YouTube channel, we've got about 445 videos, give or take, of uh, all sorts of things about electric fence chargers and how to repair things, how to test things, how things work, review videos, and we've also got some videos on uh, weight scales and load bars uh, for weighing livestock, livestock animals and stuff. But um, if you click the little drop down arrow in the description area, uh, there will be a link down our in there for our website, but that's our website, fencerfixer.com, and all of our information. But we work on all brands and ages. We work on the cattle scales and load bars. Um, well, what I wanted to show on this video, this is just uh, going to kind of be like a testing video on a on an electric fence box that we repaired for a customer. Um, this is a ElectroGuard uh, eight joule unit. Um, this is all this is is a, a private label Cyclops, um, Cyclops Brute, if you want to know uh, which one. Uh, so they don't, Electro Guard, it's, I think still around, they're just a farm store that sells fence stuff, and they got people that make fence chargers for them with their name on it. But this was uh, back in 2007, I guess is when the guy bought it, it was in, back in September of 20, or, or 2007, so 13-year-old um, unit, looks pretty good. I mean, cosmetically, it looks really nice. So I don't know when the last time they used it was, but that's when they, I mean, it's pretty good shape cosmetically. Uh, it'll actually look pretty good on the inside, too. It just has a few little small things wrong with it and everything. But um, but we got it going again. It's working and shocking and stuff. Well, let me um, plug this in. I'll talk a little bit about it. And we work on all brands and age of these fence boxes. So we got it uh, clicking right along there. Now this is the old style. They had just one fuse on the side here. A little uh, half amp bus fuse, one of those little glass tube fuses was on the left hand side. And the right hand side later on they put another fuse on this side over here. But this one didn't have that on there back then. Um, the good thing about it is you, you can get all the parts in the world for these things. I mean, they're still made today. They're just, this is an older version, but all the parts still made for it. Um, it's basically, like I said, it's basically a Cyclops Brute. Um, the nice thing is it has a little light on there that actually means something. And it flushes with every flat, flush with every pulse. If the load on the fence gets too much for it and the light goes out, uh, you know, then it, it drags down far enough, it, it, the light will go out. And then uh, sometimes the unit will still click, but the light won't flash. If it does that, you know, you want to turn it off, unhook your fencing ground from it, plug it back in. If it still won't flash and it makes a clicking sound, then something wrong inside. Um, if you have the later one, then it might be you can check your fuse on the right hand side, which ties to the fencing ground and everything. If, um, if it goes to flashing, typically, that means you've got a, um, a bad, uh, something bad on the fence dragging out typically. So that's, it's a nice little indication to know, hey, things working. Nice, pretty good bright light. You, know, you can see it from a good distance away. Um, so I like it. It's a good, good unit, good brand of this variation anyways. But if you got an electric fence box needs worked on, I don't care what brand it is, Gallagher, Parmac, Zariba, Speedrite, Cyclops, Power Wizard, Dare, Ken Cove, Blitzer, Red Snapper, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of names out there, Fi Shock. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Old ones, old International Super 98s, old Dino Charge 909, stuff like that. I mean, we work on all that stuff, and we can typically rebuild all that stuff. The older, they, the older they are, you know, when you get to be a 30, 40 year old unit, 50 year old unit, then you get a little hard to rebuild. But um, we can retrofit parts, we can rebuild parts, we can supplement parts, stuff like that, to try to bring things back to life. You know, if it's too far gone, you know, you don't owe us anything for, for working on it. But man, uh, you got something that needs worked on, send it off here. We'll be happy to take a peek at it for you. Again, all of our information is down below, but there's our website, fencerfixer.com, not fencefixer. So fencerfixer.com. There's also the cattle scale repair.com where it talks about our um, weight scales and low bars, stuff that we work on. But we work on all brands, 
all ages, free quotes, 18 month repair warranty on, on all the repairs that we do to a unit. As long as it's not water damage or mishandled or drop kicked by a mule, you know, um, or water damage or something like that, or bugs get inside of them sometimes. We won't cover that kind of stuff, but we'll cover malfunctions of our repairs that we've done. If something goes haywire with it, we'll fix that, no charge. Or lightning gets a hold of it and messes up something that we that we fixed for you last time in a year and a half, then we will stand behind like that as well. So, but in the meantime, if you got a unit needs worked on, send it off here. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you later on.